All right, here's the chair workout. And I heard the people that were on, I heard Mark say hi to everyone, and that's very exciting. So hi, Nate, Janine, and Renee. And if anybody else is on, I just didn't hear him say hello to you. We're going to start with the double leg pump. You wanna sit on your chair and push your feet into the bar and sit tall. Now, first, before we start moving, we're gonna do a few rocks of the pelvis. So rock back, find your abdominals and just stretch your spine back. And then keep pushing into those feet, open your arms and extend your spine forward. And then bring your arms, lengthen your spine to stretch, lengthen back and open and forward. And now start to make this smaller and smaller until you find that place in the middle where you're centered on your two sit bones. Your pubic bone and your tailbone are elevated away from the chair and you're going to inhale, bend your knees, bring those knees all the way up without changing your pelvis, exhale, press down. There are a couple things I'm thinking about here. If you have handles on your chair, I'm gently pulling down here. If you don't have handles, you can push back just to activate your upper, wow, you guys are all so smart. I can say fancy words. You're activating all your oblique swings. So your anterior and posterior oblique swing, inhale, and exhale as you press down. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you press down. Inhale as you come up, exhale as you press down. Let's do two more, I already said two more, we're doing two more. Exhale, press down, inhale as you come up. Now go ahead and put the balls of your feet on the bar and we're gonna do some more flexion. With this, I want you to really reach your heels for the ground. So not only are we working on hip mobility, finding that deep hip flexion, you're also trying to find your dorsiflexion of the ankle. So keep those heels reaching for the ground as you come up and exhale as you press down. Inhale into the back of your ribs, fan through the back of your neck and exhale as you press down. Inhale up, expand through the back of your ribs with your breath. Exhale, come down. And we're pushing our hip flexion here. Come up, up up how high can you come without changing your pelvis exhale press down inhale and exhale now heels together toes apart same idea inhale exhale press down inhale as you let yourself be tall exhale press down Inhale, back of your ribs, expand through your neck. Open those shoulder blades, exhale, press down. Inhale, expand through the ribs. Open the back of your throat, inhale. Exhale as you press down. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Now take your heels to the wide end of the bar. On the wide edge of the bar, you'll inhale, bring your knees up. Finding that mobility, exhale as you press down. Without moving your pelvis, keeping your sits bones still. Exhale. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, press down. Inhale, wide through the ribs. How wide can you be? I'm even bringing my elbows forward so that I'm not going into that extension through the ribs, but I'm breathing through the back. And exhale, one more, just like that, inhale. And exhale, from there, go ahead and put the balls of your feet on the bar. With the balls of your feet on the bar, come part way up. Sitting tall, and we're just first going to press down on the pedal to lift the heels and then reach your heels for the ground. Press down on the pedal to reach your heel, lift your heel, reach your heels for the ground. Still thinking about this breath into the back. I don't have a TheraBand in here, but if you had a TheraBand, you could wrap it around your ribs, just give it a little tug to really 
Get that feedback to breathe into your back as you're moving your ankle. And down. So the pedal moves when you push your feet down. And the pedal moves when you reach your heels down. Finding that dorsiflexion. Now from here, we're going to play a little bit of a different game. So you're going to push the pedal halfway down. Now the pedal is suspended in space. And you're going to lift your heels up and over the pedal. And then slowly reach your heels back down. How slow can you go? And can you do that without moving the pedal? And lift your heels up. Don't move that pedal. Reach your heels down, reaching to the top of your head, lengthening the back of your neck. Lift your heels up. Don't move the pedal. Reach your heels down. Don't move the pedal. It's my third class of the day, so I'm singing now, apparently. Reach your heels down and up. Okay, let's go ahead and split the pedal. If you can't split the pedal, you'll just do another set of heels on the bar footwork and the ankle work. So heels on the bar. So now press down with one leg and we want to imagine there's elastic band between our inner thighs. We're going to pull one knee up as much as we can, press one leg down as much as you can, and switch, and switch. Finding your low belly as you switch, press down, and switch, and switch. Lifting back, keeping your pelvis still, even though you're alternating the movement with your leg. Switch, switch and switch now just for fun switch pick that knee up lift your foot up off the pedal put it back down and switch lift your foot off the pedal and put it down. switch lift and down switch lift and down one more each side lift down switch lift down now put the balls of your feet on the bar Flex that foot, push down halfway. Now let's do a couple. Can you keep the pedal the same level as you're moving it into planter and <laughs> receive flex? My ankles are not quite even. Finding that stability through the ankle. And reach. And press down. And reach your heels down. Now press one toe down and keep one foot flex. And then switch and switch, just like you're walking while sitting with your knees bent. That's exactly what this is, walking while sitting with your knees bent. Switch and switch. Switch and switch and switch and switch. Say hello to Mark. And switch. Just so you know, Renee, I live with Mark too. He's my partner, so I'm still isolating even though he's here. And now Janine and Nate both know that. Now we're going to keep the pedal still and do the same kind of switch. So without moving the pedal, lift one heel up, flex the other foot, and then switch. Can you keep that pedal still? Really work the ankle. Find that mobility through the ankle. Press. And press. And now can you bring the pedal up and let's do another set here. Keeping the pedal still, press through that heel. Press through that heel. Trying not to move that pedal, finding the control through the stabilizers of your ankle. And then bring the pedal all the way up. You're gonna put the dowel back in. Or if there's no dowel to take out, you just rest for a second. And now walk behind the chair and you're gonna straddle your chair. Take the foot forward, open your leg out to the side. You can put your fingertips on the front or cross them or put them here. And you're going to exhale as you press down. Inhale, let that knee open, open and stretch that inner thigh. Exhale, press down. Inhale, lift that knee up. Exhale, press down. Inhale, lift your knee up. Exhale, press. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, press. 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale, being tall through the top of your head. Oh boy. Inhale, and exhale. And now put the ball of your foot on the bar, press down halfway, and push that pedal down with just your ankle, and flex, and press and flex, opening that hip the whole time, being in control of the ankle, press, and flex, and press, and flex. Push the pedal down without moving, up and down. This gets my hip up, whoa, good work, and down. Said, said good work to you, not to me, but it is hard, so I'm doing good work too. And lift, and down. And lift down two more. Reach, find that spiral in the hip. Down, last one. And come on up. Wowza. Yowza, wowza. Let's try the other side. Straddling the bar, putting your heel on the bar, opening that knee out to the side. Press down. Bend your knee. Come on up. Press down, bend your knee, come on up. Press down, bend your knee, come on up. Press down, bend your knee, come on up. My other hip is still cramping from this, so we do two more here. And up, open, press down, and open. From here, take the ball of your foot to the bar. Flex your foot, press down. Reach that heel for the ground, still connecting, finding that great posture, press down, opening. Flex your foot as you come back up. Press down. Flex your foot as you come back up. Press down. And flex, press down. And flex, press down, keep the pedal where it is and lift that heel up and reach that heel down. Lift, find the spiral in your hip and down. It's a good idea as you lift the heel up, try to open both knees, wow. And down two more. And down and last one. And down and bring that up, whoa. That was a good exercise for our hips. Now yeah, we're going to try the mer. So the mermaid, you're gonna sit on the pedal. One leg is gonna be forward, reach the other leg out, find your height. Take your arms towards the side, reach one arm up and one arm down. Now continue reaching the top arm towards the ceiling as you bend to the side. And then push down on the pedal. And then reach, I'm realizing I have told you nothing about springs. I have two black springs on number two. But it is my experience that not a single chair is the same. So whatever springs you need, you want it a little bit heavy, but you want to be able to move the bar. Press down. And reach. And up. And press. Stretch long and push into the bar. And reach through your fingertips and come on up. One more, just like that. Reach long, press into the bar. Stay there. Put the heel of your hand on the bar. Bend your elbow and press down, stretch a little bit more. Bend your elbow, press down, stretch a little bit more. Press down. Your hip can start to come up. Reach down, 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 and then through the top hip, send your top hip down for the ground as you bring yourself all the way back up. Inhale here. And bring that arm up. Reach up towards the ceiling, bend towards the side. Bend, bend, bend. Press down. Now bend your elbow, reach longer. Bend your elbow, reach longer. Bend your elbow, reach longer, roll through. Come on up, 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 Woo. All right, let's try the other side. 
Mm. That's a very mobile beginning that we've done. We'll have to stabilize ourselves. So bring your ribs here, arms out to the side. Bring one, one arm up. Reach towards the ceiling, bend to the side. Find the pedal. And press down. And then come back. Press down. Come back up. Keeping the length on the bottom of your body as well as the top. And press. And then come on up. Reach that heel. And reach. Big deep breath in and let's do two versions of the one with the arm bending, press in. Bend your elbow, press. Bend your elbow, press. Bend your elbow, press. Reach, let that bar bring you back up. Send your hip down, find those obliques. As you come up, inhale one more, just like that. Bend to the side, stretch through. Press down, bend your elbow, stretch. Bend your elbow, stretch. Bend your elbow, stretch. Press, push there, all the way up. I lost my words. Reach that heel. And up. Okay, from here, let's move our spine some more. I'm gonna put two blocks, excuse me, two blocks on three. I'm going for a little extra support for hamstring too. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can lighten up the spring. So you want your toes. I like to put my big toes underneath the wheels and stand tall. If there aren't wheels, big toes close to the back of the chair. Reaching through the top of your head. Go ahead and exhale, nod your head. Roll through your spine. Lift up through the front. Let your hands skim the top of the chair. Keep lifting through the front. Put your hands on the pedal. And then exhale, press down. Inhale, up. And I've got the breath backward. Inhale, press down. Exhale, right in front of your belly. Lift up through your spine, stretching through your back. Exhale, press down. And come on up. Fly through your back, opening, opening. Press down and now let's play with the spine. Press down. From here, extend through your spine. Lift your body up. Feel that control. Press down there. Nod your head and then roll. Lift up through your spine and press. And lift, stretching long through those hamstrings into extension. Ooh, and press. And curl back up. Let's do two more. And lift. And press. And curl, last one down. And extend your spine down. And lift. From here, you're going to take the towel out again. And dive down. Now, as you extend, I want you to keep pressing into the right hand and twist towards your left. And dive. And extend towards the right. And dive. Extend towards the left. Dive. Extend towards the right. My glasses may be gone pretty soon. Extend and dive. And then let's roll through. Stack your pelvis on top of your legs. Now you're done with the pedal. What do you do? You work to stack your spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Bring your femur heads forward to bring your arms back up. Now we'll do some extension. I'm just gonna move this box out of the way. Ooh, it, the box was hiding an extension cord, so pretend you don't see that. You want two black on number two, and let's put the, oh, what the heck, let's leave the dowel out. And you're gonna put your pelvis on the bar. And let's put your hands, one on each pedal, press down into your hands to lift your ribs above the chair. 
And from here, our goal is to keep the pedal even as you press down. And then inhale, lift up into extension. Exhale, press down. Inhale, lift up into extension. Exhale, press down. Inhale, up. Exhale, press. Inhale. And exhale, stay there. Now, let's just move your shoulder blades. Bring your shoulder blades together and widen them out. Together, widen them out. Gliding your shoulder blades across your ribs. And lift, and then push down and twist. Now you're going to push down with your right hand, twist towards the left, lift your right leg, and come back to middle. Push down with your left leg, twist toward your right, lift your left leg, and back to the center, keeping those ribs lifted. Push down with your right, lift your right leg, and back, and push down with your left, lift your left leg, and back, and twist, and twist. Let's speed it up. And twist, find that glute work. And twist, 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 push down. Okay, go ahead and come on up off of there. Let's play, Whew. good, let's work on some control now. So we did a lot of work mobilizing our hips. So now to find control, um, we're gonna move the mat out of the way. If you have a mat, you're gonna stand facing the chair. If you have handles here while you're finding your place, you're going to put your two fingers here. Put your heel here. Now take your hands off and find that balance. And the idea here is we just spent the first 20 minutes mobilizing your spine, mobilizing your hips, and mobilizing your ankles. So now it's time to give your brain a chance to find stability. And press. And up. And press. And up. And press. And up. And press. And up. One more. Now bring the pedal all the way up. Find that stability, pick that foot up, put it on top of the chair, put it back down, put it on top of the chair, five times. Lift, down, four, down, five. And then put that foot on the ground. Two fingers on the pedal, hit your nose. I washed my hands right before this, sorry about touching my face. Heel here, support your head. Exhale as you press down. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you press down. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you press down. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you press down. Inhale as you come up. Now stay there, lift that foot up, put your toe on top of the chair, and back. And 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 four, five, good. Now let's go over here. You're going to face sideways. Step with your foot right next to the wood. Put the other foot right in front of you. You might have to move out a little bit if you have big calves like I do. So feel that cross, keeping your hips square. And then exhale, press down. Inhale, let it come up as high as you can. And exhale, press down, growing tall through the top of your head. Inhale. Ah, exhale, this is getting a little length through the IT band for, whoopsie, don't talk too much while trying to balance. Good, finding control, feeling that muscle work through here, finding that midline deep and down. Let's do two more. And down. And last one. And, and let's try the other side. Ooh, back of your leg might be working pretty hard. Stand next. 
cross over, press down. Good. And then bring that, ooh, 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 yep. Wow, my left leg has been an issue all day. So balance on my left leg today. I'm not gonna worry about it until tomorrow because if it's just one day, it's a fluke. Find that support deep inside. And then press down. And then find that support on the way up. How high can you go? How much control can you find? And then press down. And how high can you go? Up, 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 up. And down. And how high can you go? And then, ooh, last one. And from here, let's go ahead and let's do some kneeling hamstring one. So now we're talking about our thoracic spine. We did a lot of work just to get our hips more mobile and more stable. Now let's use that mobility and stability to find our thoracic spine. So let's do one block on four, I think, for this one. Or whatever spring feels good to you. So now standing tall through your knees, send your hips forward, keep those ribs over your pelvis. The goal is to do this without your hips sitting back. So keep flat on those shins, press your shins into the ground to send your hips forward, push down on the bar, Roll through your thoracic spine and find your way down. And stack your spine back up. Inhale and exhale, press. And see if you can go all the way down. And Back, back up, inhale, and exhale, nod through those ribs, lift up through the front, and up, and exhale. Now for my body, and for some of you I know this to be true, is this is closing off the front of the diaphragm. And so you can notice I am without breath because I live like this and can breathe through here forever and not only back through here. So we're gonna try something because I know who's in the room. We could all use this, get a little closer to the bar. Take a big deep breath in, exhale, press down. And get to about here, stay there. Bend your elbow and straighten your arms. Inhale, bend your elbows, but you have to breathe into the back of your ribs. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then stack your spine back up. And then take your arms up and just stretch back. And let the abdominal cramping subside. Now we want two wipes on number one. With two wipes on number one, you're going to lie on your belly with your face down. And have your arms long and grabbing onto the pedal. And we'll just press down through your arms as you extend your back. And then bring your arms up, lower yourself down. Inhale and exhale, shoulders down, lift, push your hands down. Inhale, shoulders go up. And exhale. 
and inhale, shoulders go up and slide down. And up. And down. And up. And down. And up. Now from here, take out that bar once again. And put your hands on the chair, press down part way, and now bend your left elbow, reach up through your, whoops, I said that opposite, switch, let me try again. Bend your left elbow, reach up through your right, twist towards the left. Bend your right, twist towards the right. Bend your left, twist towards your left. Find that middle. Twist. And and twist and twist and twist and twist twist and twist bring those arms up lay your head neck and shoulders down come on back now you'll put the pedal back in and let's see we're gonna hook up heavy spring so i'm gonna put two black on three Take those off. Take that. Two black on three. You're going to lay on your back and put your feet on the pedal. I'm going to give myself more help. I'm changing my mind, switching them to four. And you're going to lay on your back and just take a few breaths here and notice the back, the breathing into the back of your ribs. Feel that expansion. And exhale, and then put your hands beside you, put your feet up on the pedal. And you wanna scoot close enough that your hips about 90 degrees. I'm still a little far away. And then without moving the pedal, let's do a bridge. This is my third set of bridges. Uh-oh, tricky, make sure your chair is secure. And then exhale. Roll back down. Inhale, reach your tailbone away from you. Exhale, roll up. Roll through your spine. Send your rib cage down. Soften through your chest. Lift your hips up. Exhale. Roll down. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Now, if you'd like up here, try to push down on that bar. I've got my bar too heavy. I was too overzealous. I'm going to change my springs. If you were not overzealous, feel free to push down on the bar. Good. It's the fine line between not letting the bar fall, collapse to the ground, and not having it so heavy that you can't push up, reach your Oh, there we go. Now push down and up. Let's do five, two, and three, four, five. Great. Roll. Okay, let's spend some time with hamstring one and hamstring three, just to lengthen the back of our body now. So no need for the mat, we're done with the floor. Still two black on three, nod your head, roll through. And from here, press down, lifting up through. And then roll back up. Shift your weight forward, stand on your toes, send your femur heads forward, back your spine back up, inhale. Exhale, nod your head, lift your spine towards the ceiling. Take your arms forward. Exhale as you press back. And come on back up. One more time, just like that. Inhale. 
and exhale. And press. And come on back up. And from here, I'm going to give myself a little boost. I'm going to go back to the top with the two springs. Whatever you want to do for hamstring three. And you're going to put your toes on the bar. With your toes on the bar, you'll take your hands here. And then lift your spine into the air. Point your toes and your head for the grab. Shift your weight to your arms. Take weight into your arms and lift your pelvis into the air. And back it. And lift. And lift. And three. Four. And five. And down. Now, cross. Your left foot over your right and take your left hand to the back of the chair. From here, lift your spine into the air. Shift your weight forward. Pour your head into the ground and lift your pelvis up. And two. And five. Good, and then other side, put your foot here. One hand to the back, right hand to the behind the chair, cross your right foot over, shift your weight towards your arms, and lift. And two. And come on back. And go ahead and step down. Holy moly. Now back to two blocks on three for me. If you wanna keep it a little heavier for a little more assistance, totally up to you. We're going to go up on the chair. First, stand on that pedal, ball of your foot, take the foot forward. If you have a low ceiling, you're going halfway up. If you can go all the way up, that's great. But please, no head in plaster. Shift your weight forward. Find that ankle mobility and come back. Shift your weight forward. Feel the glute on that standing side as you find that mobility. And come back. And move behind that. And back. Lift up and away from your leg. Now shift your weight forward. All the way up. And down. And up. And down. And three. And down. Four. And five. Halfway down. And then. Then. Straight. Then. then. Straighten, straighten, bend. straighten all the way up. Woo! Other foot up in the air, finding that height in that leg. Let's go all the way down and find that ankle dorsiflexion first. Shift your weight forward. Bring your leg back. Shift your weight forward. Bring your leg back. Shift your weight forward. Bring your weight back. Shift your weight forward. Press into that foot. All the way up. Slowly come down. All the way up. Slowly come down. All the way up. Slowly come down. One more. All the way up. Slowly come down, stay there, and one, and two, three, four, holy moly, five, all the way up. <gasps> Big deep breath. Just looked at the clock, you caught me. Let's take a breath here, let's do side. One foot out to the side, one behind. Both hands in front. Here, let's do a little ankle mobility here. 
open that knee, reach that knee over your toe and press back. Reach your knee over your toe, press back, reach your toe, back, one more. All right there, find, oopsie, <laughs> let's try again. Find your way up. One, we're gonna do three on each side. And down. Two. And down. Three. Other side. Turn that leg out. Put your toe behind you. Find the mobility. Take a deep breath, open this knee out to the side, shift your weight, and back. And two, open this, and back, and three. And now shift your weight, press down, up you go. Woo, I pulled, this floor is crooked, and two. Good, and down. And three. And down. And we have to go up. You all did the pulsar training. You do a forward lunge, dismount. And come all the way down. All right. Come here. Go ahead. Stand with your feet right next to each other. Shift your weight forward. Whew. I hope you're breathing as heavy as I am. Find your support. Find your balance. And then heel to toe. We're almost finished. Shift your weight. And find your balance. And that's better. My left leg's figuring it out. And the other side, shift your weight forward. Find your balance. Ooh. Come back in. Eesh. Thank you. Are there any questions, you guys? Sit. Raise your hand. Even if you just want to check. Yes. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see. And Renee is raising her hand. Renee, you might have to unmute your mic. Can you hear me? Yeah. I just wanted to thank you. That was so great. Oh, good. Thank you, Renee. That's the first time I've been on my chair since my surgery, and it felt oh, really good. Wow. <laughs> Did it feel okay? I feel really good. Yay. Good. That was really great. great. Thank you for the spring um, changes, because it's been a while since I've used the oh. chair for myself, so that, that was helpful. No problem. And you know, like I said, every chair is different. So if, if I do give a spring and it's wrong, just fix it. You know how. Okay. <laughs> Good work. Oh, yay, thank you. Anybody else? I see Nate's raising his hand. Nate, you might have to unmute. Hi, just wanted to say thanks a lot. That was really fun. And it actually- yay. Thanks for coming, Nate. Yeah, got me to use my chair at home for the first time yep. in a while too. Yeah, we have another one. I think we do trap table reformer chair on Friday. So I'll let make sure to let you know. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Nice, yeah. nice work, Thank you guys. This is actually surprisingly uh, effective uh, platform here. Yeah, and we're, <laughs> we're working on it. Awesome. Yeah, nice work. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Nate. I think that's it. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow.